There have been hundreds of stories of East Texans surviving serious infections of COVID-19. Our Alan Casper is a COVID-19 survivor himself, and he's been seeking out stories to share. Alan's here now to tell us about today's survivor. Wednesday morning, I caught up with the 66-year-old woman who, thanks to the coronavirus, had spent the last four months in a medical facility and was finally going home. Diana Smith, as she drove away with her daughter and granddaughter, her cousin told me Diana's story of struggle, triumph, and loss. This is Diana Smith surviving the virus. Seeing her come out of there alive and ready to go home and breathing good, it was a blessing. This is, was just a miracle from God that she's alive. And it was just joy to our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. She and her brother, Brian Smith, had just bought a brand new mobile home together. And they had been in quite a month. And they both took COVID. She stayed at home for a while and she finally called her daughter Janice and said, I can't breathe, I've got to go. They went to Jacksonville, then they had to move them. Jacksonville couldn't take care of them. They moved Brian to Tyler, to ATMC. They had to move Diana to Longview. There was no room here in Tyler for her. So she wound up at Good Shepherd in Longview. They took excellent care of her and just helped her to survive, got her through it. Well, she went into the hospital the first week of October and she is on a ventilator for 30 days. And she's been here at the center at Grandy rehab for like a month. So she's been in the hospital since last October. Brian was 50 years old, working and doing fantastic. And he caught COVID. He actually stayed at home too long and when he went to the hospital, he was very sick. He'd been in the hospital about a month and he passed away. Diana's foot still has to have a boot on it. She doesn't have all of her strength back yet, but she hopes to be able to walk again. And therapy will come to the house and work with her there. And one of the things she's looking forward to is eating good food from her daughter's cooking. <laughs> she's already putting her request in what she wants to eat. She wants to help her daughter with her grandkids. She's been working at the Texas National Bank in Bullard for years and uh, they have been a blessing to her. They have supported her and taken care of her. Her faith is, she is a born again Christian, we all are. And we know that many, many prayers are from many people all over Bullard, Tyler, Jacksonville. Everybody's prayed for her and donated money to keep her going, you know. And uh, it's just, God's in control. He's answered our prayer. And not everybody has been able to survive COVID, but she is their survivor. She's a survivor and she's gonna make it. The minute you get COVID, the minute you feel like you can't breathe, go to the hospital, do not wait. They waited too long and they shouldn't have. Go immediately, even though they were taking medicine. Go to the hospital, get help. Diana has returned to that home that she had barely moved into just a month before this ordeal began. And while her brother Brian will not be there, her daughter and her family are moving in to help make sure she's well taken care of. Now, if you're a COVID-19 survivor and you would like to share your story, you can contact me by calling 903-600-2600. Leave your name, a phone number, and a short message, and I will get back with you. For Surviving the Virus, I'm Alan Casper.